So now let's jot down all the value that you have obtained, which is H1 is equal to 251.42 kg. Your H2A, we are going to consider the actual value only, which is 275.3255 kJ per kg. And next is your H3, which is 3539.0 kJ per kg. H4A is equal to 2917.62. H5 is equal to 3474.8 and finally your H6A is equal to 2652.635 kJ per kg right now with all this value we will solve the things that we are looking for over here Alright, so let's try to solve the uh, DA part. So you have A is to find weight of your turbine. So you are going to consider your high pressure turbine, state 3 and 4A, and low pressure turbine, state 5 and 6A. So finally, the work of your turbine, you will obtain H, sorry. H3 minus your H4A plus with your H5 minus your H6A is equal to 1443.545 kJ per kg. Next part is to find your work pump which is in between your state 1 and your 2A over here so H2A minus with your H1 is equal to 23.9055 kJ per kg and then C is to find your thermal efficiency so you will need to have your work net and your Q in so work net is actually where summation of your turbine minus with the work of your pump so you will get 1419.64 kJ per kg and as for your Q in you will going to consider your Q boiler which is in between 3 and 2A plus with the reheating part which is in between 4A and 5 so this is equal to H3 minus your H2A plus with your H5 minus your H4A and finally the value for Q in is equal to 1.4 so now that you already obtained your work net and your Q in so your thermal efficiency will be 1419.64 over 3820.8545 times 100 so it is equal to 37116% finally is to find your M dot where you make use of that W dot net over with your work net therefore 100 megawatt or 100 thousand kilowatt 
over with your work net which is 1401 9.64 so finally your m dot is equal to 70.44 kilogram per second so we have completed all these questions a b c and d we will meet again for next tutorial and example. Thank you.